This one's going to be on a program called Blue Tile, which is a tiling windows manager for GNOME. Uh, it should be in your repositories if you want to install it and try it out. But um, the way to start this is basically Alt F2 to use your run command. So Alt F2 here. Type in Blue Tile, all right, and run it. Now, by default, they give you this little, I guess, tutorial help or whatever and let's follow some of this so you can understand now you can see that they have to give you a little I guess a sidebar here or a dock whatever you want to call it and right here is your workspace so you have one two three four so hopefully you know what a workspace is uh, and then you have your layouts okay your layout they have four layout so the default one is A which is uh, the traditional layout where you have you know all your windows free forming and everything or well, they call that stacking windows layout. The S is the horizontal, uh, D is vertical, and the F is for full screen. So let me show you that out here. Uh, there's a few ways to do that. One is just to click on it, but let me open some windows first. So let's say open, what the hell, I opened too much. Let's just open one only. So we have like three windows here, right? Um, and we, if we use, let's say, the S, this is horizontal, and you can see that um, the biggest window, they call this the master window, okay? The biggest window that you can view is your master window. Other ones are just, you know, part of the layout. So this is the horizontal, the D is for vertical, so you can see that it's vertical here. And the last one is F for full screen. So one of your apps is going to be full screen and the other ones are not uh, going to be shown. And you can toggle between these uh, either using your hotkey or you can click on these. So right now I'm clicking on it, but there's other ways to do this. The other way is if you want to hold uh, your super key or the Windows key and press your middle mouse button. And this will toggle between the modes that they have, right, or the different layouts that they have. Uh, another way is to do it directly, so Windows key and A, S, D, or F, right? Windows A, Windows S, Windows D, Windows F. Um, and if you've never used tiling before, basically if you make some uh, changes like resizing your window, the other ones are affected. So if I resize this window, the other one, you know, is uh, goes along with it. Either it gets bigger or smaller, right? Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, they have some other stuff right here. So this plus one here is if you want to add a windows to uh, your master window uh, area. So this is our master window. The biggest one is the master window. And if you want to uh, add one to it. So now it's like three spaces here. But let's say I open another window whatever. What else is here? Let's open this one. Um, let's put this back in here alright so let's say you have four windows here but you can see that you know the three over here doesn't have a lot of space or whatever uh, you can actually do is add one to your master space here so this is their master space here and so you go plus one and it'll add like this and you have four uh, viewable and if you don't need it anymore you can always minus one again so we get a minus one and it goes back to where it was. So basically that's what that is. And the C is for configuration. So you can see that, let me grab this one out here. It'll open a text file like this. And this is where you do your configurations, which I haven't done anything, so I'm not gonna show you that. But uh, tiling windows, you can actually you know drag the windows that you want like I've been doing right now. And uh, you can drag it to, you know, to, to uh, switch the windows. So it's actually for people that uses a lot of open windows a lot and they want to be more efficient. Well, you have to actually learn it first before you can be efficient first. But afterwards, I will say you would be efficient because you're doing uh, mostly everything by hotkeys. So you don't have to waste time using your mouse. So that's like the benefits of it if you want to be more efficient with your workflow. Uh, what else is there? I think that's about it for that. Um, 
if you want to know more hotkeys, you can actually go to their website here. They have more hotkeys than you know the ones that just shown by default that they gave you. But I'll give you an example if you want to move or you want to switch to different windows with the hotkey is Windows J, you can toggle between the windows, right? Um, what is this here? If you want to use the run dialog control, or I mean Windows P, run dialog, you can do that. Anyways, if you're interested, just give it a try and see how good you are at it. Uh, I'm pretty newbie, I never used this before. Well, I did, I used the KDE one, but you know, not that much. Anyways, if you're on GNOME and you're interested in it, here you go. That's it for this one, but uh, to close this off, if you want to quit, you can always hit the quit button here. And you can go back to Metacity. Otherwise, uh, if you're using Compiz or whatever, you don't have to run, um, what do you have to run here? You have to run Compiz dash dash replace and the and sign. Run that sucker and you have Compiz back again. Uh, but that's it for this video.